Pinball Mayhem. I'm going to show you how to make a topper for your Tommy pinball machine. The topper I'm using is a 8 inch stainless steel ball ordered from Amazon. It's a gazing ball. I'm not going to post a link because as anyone that dealt with Amazon knows that the uh, links and products names change all the time. It's an 8 inch stainless steel polished gazing ball. Uh, I have some paint so I can do a little bit of touch up on the top and I took a piece of one inch flat iron that's galvanized, cut it to five inches, six inches would work as well and drilled a quarter inch hole in there, filed off the edges and I have a, for me, I'm going to be using a three quarter inch by number 12 screw to attach everything. I flip the ball over for a screw you want to make sure you use a screw that is uh, long enough and will fit in here well. It needs to go in real nice and snug. Uh, you can see it's a little bit deformed, the shape of the ball. Uh, because I screwed it in first, make sure everything fit and uh, it does. And uh, so this plate will go on the inside of the cabinet. The screw will then hold the ball in place. Immediately after ordering the ball and while waiting for it to ship I would recommend pulling your game out and checking the top of it give it a good cleaning with your favorite uh, cabinet cleaner uh, and uh, I has a chunk of wood missing and some uh, some chips and paint now you're not really gonna see that unless you're standing on your tippy toes looking at the ball reflection but I figured I'm going to uh, just touch up as much paint I figure a close match in yellow which is a really hard color to match uh, is better than bare wood and uh, of course my touch-ups are a little bit darker in the camera but uh, when they dry they'll be fine this is my mixing the yellow the red very little red mostly yellow another side note while well, you have the paint out now is a good time to find a little bit of yellow here and there that may need a little touch-up you're not going to notice yellow being a slightly different color more than you're going to notice a bare spot of wood or white to the right of the who's dot there was a big scra scratch uh, and the red color without anything in it after I painted the yellow uh, repaired the uh, top left corner of the B which was completely missing. I have placed the ball on the top still haven't secured it. See I placed the hole in the bottom straight down and I'm going to tighten my bracket up and I'll come back. Brackets on and tight, just as bending a little bit. Now if I look here, I can see that area, but you're not going to see from the ground. Pretty darn stable. It's not going to go anywhere. Now is when you want to clean it, put the game back, turn it on. All done. Everything's secured. Looks good. Cost me about $30 or less for the entire topper, all the spare parts. I had the screw and the strap around. Uh, so if you order the ball and you're waiting for it, you can do the touch-up paint, make the, take a five or six inch long, one inch piece of uh, flat bar, drill a hole in it, and uh, when it arrives, just put it on. It took me a very, just a few minutes, and I'm real happy with it. It's an eight inch ball. Originally this had a seven and a half inch ball on it that was plastic and reflective. I think the uh, stainless steel pulled up a little bit better and a little bit bigger doesn't, doesn't bother me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out our other videos.